Hello everyone. Now here is a quick tutorial on some logic gates. Now let's start off with probably the one I use the most, which is an AND gate. Now an AND gate will only produce an output if all conditions are met. Now currently we're just going to use switches for this, and as you can see there are no conditions met. Let's just really quickly display how this works. We've got condition 1 met, condition 2 met, and condition 3 met, which will trigger your circuit. I'm just using a light to show this. But what if you want to reverse the output of an AND gate? Well, this is a NAND gate. Now, pretty much, it's just an AND gate, except with an extra segment added on to it, which reverses it. So we've got none of the conditions met, and we have an output of 1, or power. So let's go really quickly meet all the conditions. Like, for example, one of these conditions, if, could be one of my shapes is blue, or the next one could be the shape is a square, right, that you can make pretty much anything with these, well, anything with conditions with these machines, like you could switch f through binary digits, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, all in binary, and then make a display off of that. Then you've got an OR gate, now an OR gate will produce an output it, if, like, at least one of the um, conditions is met. So we've got an output, and we can turn on both, but when they're both off, nothing will happen. Now we've got a NOR gate, which is just a reversed version of this. So if we've got 1, our output is 0. 2, our output is still 0. But if we turn off both, or we have an output of 1. And then we've got a scissor gate or an XOR gate. They have plenty of different names, and this one works by if one input is activated, you get a 1, but if both inputs are activated, you get a 0. Now you can just set this up by having three switches, two of them heading to a first main switch, and these two switches here are your conditions, and of course, we've got our light. Now, of course, these switches can be used for many different things. For example, I've got an AND gate here with two conditions and an XOR gate here all wired up. So the XOR gate is a sum and the AND gate is a carry to make a quite very basic half adder. So we've got our sum lights up first and then our kick. Whoops. Sorry, this is a little slow. And then our carry. And you can make, pretty much you can just scale this up until a full adder. And then you can use those full adders to make pretty much as much addition as you want. And I'll be making a video on addition, subtraction, and hopefully try a little bit of multiplication. But that will be soon. So, now that you've used, pretty much, I guess that's all you need to know for these gates. Let's just go a quick overview. AND is if all conditions are met, will produce an output. NAND will be if all conditions are met, will produce a zero output. Or if only one, one or more conditions is met, will produce an output. NOR, if one or more conditions is met, it will produce a zero. And XOR, if one condition is met, it will produce an output, if both, if both conditions are met, it will produce a zero. Well, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, there's a check out the Discord in the subscription. And I've got Twitch. I should be streaming every Saturday and Sunday. Hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.